Hello, good morning. I'm Dr. Narish Rakha, Professor of Preventive Veterinary Medicine. I know you love the dogs and you take good care of them. Our pet dogs usually suffer from external and internal parasites. As a result, your pet becomes sick and is not able to play with you. Some parasites of the dog can even infect the human beings and especially children when the children are playing with their pet dogs. So it becomes very important that we should deworm the dogs regularly. In this video, we are going to discuss about these parasites, deworming and how to make your dog playful and joyful. So the nine important questions are how the dogs become infected with the parasites, what we mean by deworming, what damage the worms do to the dog, what are the symptoms of the parasite infection in dogs, what is the schedule of deworming, what is the method of deworming, how much medicine should be given, what are the common side effects of deworming and finally special considerations while deworming the dog. So coming to the question number one, how the parasites infect the dogs. There are two types of parasites. Number one, external parasites like ticks, mites, fleas, etc., which attach to the skin of the dog. And second type of parasites live inside the body in the gastrointestinal tract, in the liver, kidneys, and many other internal organs. Eggs, larvae, or cysts of these parasites enter into the body through contaminated food and contaminated water. So the second question is, what is deworming? The practice of getting rid of these parasite and worms or the practice of killing these parasite and worms is called deworming and the medicines which are used for this purpose are called dewormers or deworming medicines. Question number three, what damage these parasites do to the pet dog? Number one, worms are the parasites which take up the nutrition of the dog so the dog does not get proper nutrition and becomes weak. If these parasites are too many in number, they can block the intestines, leading to constipation and other gastric problems. Movement of some of the larvae of some of these parasites into the visceral organs cause serious damage to those organs. Well, infestation of the hurt worms in dogs can be fatal are life-threatening to the pet dogs. Excessive burden of the worms can cause immunosuppression and such dogs will pick up the infections very quickly. The question number four, what are the symptoms of parasite infestation into the dogs? If your pet shows some of the following symptoms, you need to check with your qualified veterinarian. The appetite decreases and the dog does not like to eat properly. The dog becomes very lethargic or gets tired soon. The worm segments may be passed into the feces or may be observed sticking around the anal region of the dog. Other symptoms include coughing, weight loss, signs of anemia like eyes and gums appear pale. The appearance of the dog is like pot belly and the stomach area appears bloated. Diarrhea and constipation with or without blood in it may be observed. Coming to the question 5, what should be the schedule of deworming the pet dogs? Please note that the earliest time when these pups can be dewormed is 15 days. So from 15 days to 90 days, they should be dewormed every 15 days. From age 3 to 6 months, they should be dewormed once in every month and after the age of 6 months, they should be dewormed every 3 months. Deworming should be done before the mating and at the time of birthing and the lactating mother should be dewormed at the same time when pups become 15 days old. Question number 6. What are the methods of deworming? Deworming medicines are available in various forms like tablets, injections, spot-on preparations and oral suspensions. You can give the deworming medicine along with food disguised in something like cheese, butter, jaggery etc. Or you can give the tablet directly into the mouth by hand or pill dispensing machine. Spot-on preparation of the dewormer should be applied on the back of the dog so that dog is unable to lick that area. 
particularly when the spot on medication has been applied take due precautions about bathing the dog question 7 how much medicine should be given please note that you should not do the calculation of dose on your own see a qualified veterinarian usually the oral suspensions which are available are given at the rate of 1 ml per kg body weight the deworming tablets are given usually one tablet for 10 kg body weight or 35 kg body weight depending upon the composition of the dewormer injections of ivermectin and spot on preparation are also calculated on the body weight basis question number eight what are the side effects of deworming medication common side effects observed after giving the deworming medicines are diarrhea vomiting allergic reactions and loss of appetite however these symptoms or the side effects are mild and will disappear very soon and finally the special considerations for deworming are do not medicate the pet on your own always consult a qualified veterinarian on the choice of dewormer deworming schedule and the method of administration never underdose the pet if the dewormer is to be repeated please make a reminder of that and always use the correct way of administration of the deworming hope by using the proper strategy of deworming you will be able to help your pet dog to grow properly, be joyful and playful and also protect your children from getting the infection of those genotic parasites. Thank you very much.